Good morning, fifth graders. Welcome to week seven of our art classes. Remember in week six, we studied the color wheel. All right, and we made our color wheel out of the spectrum colors, and we used the primaries, the secondaries, and the tertiary. The primaries were the red, yellow, and blue, and they make all the rest of the colors. They make the secondary colors, like red and yellow make orange. They make the secondary color of green by taking yellow and blue, it makes green, and blue and red make violet or purple. Then we did the intermediate colors in between those primaries and secondaries, like red orange, orange yellow, green yellow, or yellow green, blue green, blue violet, and red violet. Now, one thing about the color wheel that we can see is that it's kind of split in half. So what happens here is we have very cool colors on this side. The cool colors like it, like nighttime pictures or like the water colors, rain, all those, you know, kind of cool colors and greens that feel cool to the touch. And then on this other side, we have warm colors. These are the hot fire colors, lava colors, um, anything that's warm, the sun is warm and fire, all that is on the warm color side. So we are going to do a picture that has cool colors and warm colors. And this is what it looks like. Okay, we're gonna do a cityscape. And of course, all the warm colors are down here and or the cool colors are up here. It could be reverse. You can start this way if you want to also. Okay, and then we have the warm colors up here and the cool colors down here. So it looks easy, but it's not. All right, so let me show you how to start your picture. We're going to start by making a wavy line across your picture. All right, before we start, let's get our materials. We got markers and also in your crayon box, get all the colors that look like they belong together, except for these guys, these are oranges. So I have all my reds together and then I have my oranges together. Look at your crayon box because we're gonna color in with crayons. Oh, you can color in with colored pencils too, but the crayons give you more inter, uh, intermediate colors and tertiary colors. We have all the yellows. I put all my yellows in a group. Uh, then we have all the greens are in a group. Then we have all the blues are in a group. And then of course we have all the purples in a group, okay? These are all my cool colors right here, the blue, purple, and greens. All right, those are my cool colors. I'm gonna set them aside up here. And then here's all my warm colors. The reds, oranges, and yellows are all my warm colors up there. All right, so once you get this wavy line, let me do it again so you can see what I'm doing. All right, so the wavy line, before I do it correctly, I wanna show you a bad wavy line. Oh no, that's not what I meant. Nope, that's not gonna work on your picture, okay? So, or like this, no, no, that's not gonna work. It's a, like a flat wavy line right in the middle of your picture. So we're gonna start in the middle, flat wavy lines, okay? Just one line going across. And then remember in third grade, we did cityscapes. So you're just going to then do houses. Here's an easy one and with my door and windows. Easy, easy houses. Then you can make like a small one here with another triangle roof if you want to. You can make these kind of windows with a door. And then you can make tall ones like this. You can even do a trapezoid roof. Remember the trapezoid roofs? So just go across your paper and do all kinds of buildings for your city, all right? Don't ever forget the doors. Everybody has to come out of a door and you can do 
windows of any sort. I mean, we did these kind of windows before. You can do skinny windows like this. You can even put a chimney up here. All right, and let's see, this will be another triangle roof. So try to make it like all different when you guys go across. You can make like a round door, that'd be all right. And this kind of windows, like apartment buildings, that's fine. And you can go right off to the edge. Go from one side all the way to the other side, okay? Then when you finish, let me go ahead and finish this one up for you so that you can see. You can pause the video anytime you want to, just to catch up. This may take a while to do, but that's okay. We'll have a finishing update, like I told you, at the end of the, the grading period. Don't forget to put your lines across your roof also. Zigzag lines work really well. And just keep adding on your windows. Okay, wavy lines look really good here. Whatever. All right, and then we can do this. Now, if I have this one ready, and I can start deciding which kind of colors I want to put in here, the warm colors or the cool colors. Okay, let me finish my window here. Do, 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 do. All kinds of lines. All right, so then I get my warm colors. I'll start with my warm colors and start coloring in each section. So there's a purple red, red violet, of course. Here's a, let me see what this one is. This looks like a yellow orange, yep. So use all your hot colors on this picture. Don't forget your windows and your doors have to be done. You can make them all different hot colors, okay? Now, let's pretend that I'm done. Then you're going to reverse it and do the exact building the other way. You're going to copy what you did on the bottom part. Every building you did, you are going to copy. Okay, this one goes, that one was a little fat one here, and a pointed roof. Zigzag, etc. What kind of colors are you going to use on this side? Your cool colors. So when you're done, then you can color these in with your cool colors. Okay, greens, blues purples, etc., etc. All right, so keep going up and down, copy the same so it starts to look like this. Once you finish, you can add more now to your picture. You can make your clouds, but remember, whatever cloud you put up there, you're gonna have to put it here. If I put a sun here, do I have to put one down here? Yes, the sun goes down here. The sun will be in the blues or green this time instead of yellow. Don't forget your clouds. You can put little airplanes up here if you want or birds flying or a rainbow. You could do a hot color rainbow or a cool rainbow down here. You remember you have to match it, okay? Now, this was an idea a fifth grader gave me. All the colors here can be sunset colors. This is what it looks like all done. With the warm side, you can put warm sunset colors. It kind of looks real, of course. That's how our sunset colors are. You don't have to do the whole thing, but you can if you want to, all the way down touching the houses. Or flip it, you can do the cool sunset colors. These will be the purples, blues, and greens. Look, I have a green sun <laughs> all the way down. So good luck, fifth graders. Get your work done and completed, and you can upload it to Canvas or bring it to Mrs. Story. Bye. Have fun.